There are many factors which determine how dangerous a snake is. Even the most toxic snake with the longest fangs and the worst temper can hardly be considered dangerous if it doesn't come into contact with humans. Unfortunately, Australia's most dangerous snake is found all too commonly in our backyards. Until 1954, a full bite from a taipan meant certain death. Although it was the most urgently needed, Taipan anti-venom was one of the last to be developed. Fortunately, Taipan venom isn't the most potent, but in all other aspects, it rates equal with or above Australia's other venomous snakes and has earned the reputation as the most dangerous snake in Australia. It's the longest of the venomous snakes, and this is an advantage when striking. If cornered, it will go on the attack. Its length means it can strike high, making the bite more effective. Unlike their cousins, the vipers, which can fold their fangs back, the elapids have permanently erect fangs, which limits the length that they can grow. They average about four to five millimetres, but the taipan's fangs can grow to be 12 millimetres. That's about the length of my fingernail, which makes for greater killing power. Like the fierce snake, the taipan uses a strike and release method of attack. Unlike the fierce snake, it will bite repeatedly. Its long fangs mean the venom can be injected to a far greater depth and therefore have a greater effect. In one recorded attack, a 12-year-old boy died less than an hour after being bitten 12 times by a taipan. Taipans are most commonly found in well-grassed tropical woodlands, but their preferred diet of small rodents, birds, and the occasional bandicoot means they're often found near farm outbuildings and even urban backyards. <laughs> 